I love what you're saying about the wide range of entrepreneurship and advice that we can give to Latinos, right? That it might not be entrepreneurship, but it might be owning their own home. It might be even having a, a little rental home, right? Rental unit. It could be a small side hustle that complements their income. Uh, and those are all forms of entrepreneurship, right? But Absolutely. that we just we just did not know what we could do, right? When we first came to this country. It's it's so true and it reminds me a lot of my kind of education journey, right? I think if I had someone who had gone to college to maybe hold my hand throughout this application process in undergrad, um, I think it would have it could have gone very differently. And I'm so fortunate to have how it played out that the one school that accepted me that w w was able to meet my needs and, and give me the opportunities I was I was looking for. But if someone could have told me, hey, maybe you should apply to more than three schools, and I had a guidance counselor whose whose best advice was make sure you check the Latino box um, when you're when you're applying for school. And, and and so I think just just having that that uh, that open communication in our community, and now that there's uh, kind of the, this this generation of entrepreneurs and professionals out here like yourself and 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 like the community we're building, I think it's 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 what we need to do, right? At, at Seagull, what we're doing is a, is a, is a um, is a podcast called Cafe Con Seagull, very much focused on our community and and not just on insurance. But things like, hey, your kid's applying to school. Let me give you some of the advice and some of the challenges I had. And I think just by putting that information out there, we can make a big difference.